As we have learned, each of the 206 bones in the human skeleton have separate functions, but work together to protect and support our bodies. The ribs fasten to the breastbone, making a cage to protect the most important organs in our body, such as the heart, lungs, and liver. The bones of the spine protect the spinal cord, the bundle of nerves that send messages to the brain and other parts of our body. The walls of the arteries, which deliver fresh blood to the body, have thick walls containing elastic fibers. Since the blood has to get to every cell in the body, the arteries divide into smaller tubes called arterioles, and then subdivide into thin-walled tubes called capillaries. Capillaries are only one cell layer thick, and they only allow one red cell at a time to pass through. There are many different foods available to us, and we must make choices regarding what we eat. Although humans are omnivorous, that does not mean we can eat anything and continue to maintain a healthy body. We must choose a correct variety of foods which are necessary for a healthy life. In the right amounts, at the right time. You may have heard the common expression, you are what you eat. It simply means that the foods you choose to eat and drink are possibly the most important choices you will make to feel good each day and live a healthy life. Larger animals rely on a more complex process for breathing oxygen and releasing carbon dioxide. A large surface area is needed for the essential gas exchange and has to fit into a small volume. The lungs of humans and many other large animals have solved this problem by having countless tiny air sacs and a surface full of folds which allows a large surface area to fit into a small space. To better understand, imagine if the surface area of human lungs could be spread out. The area would cover an entire tennis court. Muscles are bundles of long fibers made of an elastic tissue similar to the material in a rubber band. Thousands of these fibers make up a single muscle. They are joined together with connective tissue and attached to bones by tough strands called tendons. Muscles attach to two bones of the arm so that there is a joint between the points of attachment.